So you'll see now that this has applied the changes immediately to our SharePoint site. So I think that probably the next thing that you want to do is one of the great features of SharePoint version 3, which is not included in SharePoint version 2, is something called a wiki. So I hope that everybody's familiar with Wikipedia um, and the advantages that it does provide. So probably the first item that I would add to any SBS 2008 SharePoint installation for a customer would be a wiki. So what we'll do in here is we go to site actions again, we go into create, and we can see all the items here that we can create on our SharePoint. So the first thing to do is if you select the wiki page library, what we need to do is give it a name, so we'll call it a knowledge base. Do we want it to appear in the quick launch menu, which as you can see here appears on the left hand side. So I go create, and that will now create a new knowledge base area for us within SharePoint. Okay, so as you can see now, it appears under documents on the left-hand quick start menu. Okay, so what I can do now is if I click on the breadcrumb menu, you can see that I have two items in my wiki library. So if I go back to the home page that was created, the great thing about a wiki is, is I can come in here and I can make all sorts of changes that allow me to document the information that I want to record without having necessarily any application on my desktop. Okay, so again, I've changed the look and the feel of this. I simply go OK. And again, this can be updated immediately. So it makes it easy for people to add information, easy for people to change information. So it's a great tool for collaboration because you don't need an application on the desktop. But more importantly, what it supports is if you have a look at here, it has the ability to have a history. So you have previous versions. So again, I can see version 1, and I can see version 2. And at any time, if I go back to version 1, I can easily restore this version. Okay, So it is very easy to work with. And again, it supports the ability to track any changes. So here you can see by looking at the version history what has actually changed in my wiki library. So again, the first item I would add to any SharePoint on installation is the wiki library, which uh, one of the best applications for that probably is a knowledge base. So again, if you go up to Site Actions and then select Create, as you can see, you can choose to create a document library, a form library, picture libraries, announcements, contacts, a discussion board, links, calendar tasks, project tasks, issue tracking, surveys, okay, custom lists, and sites and workspaces. So what I'll do here is also now create a project task just to give you an idea of what that looks like because again this is one of the new features of SharePoint and as you can see this basically allows me to create something like a Gantt chart up the top so uh, start installation okay and it's due say, in three or four days I go okay and again you'll see that it creates a bar and I can track the projects as they progress and because of the new interface, I can click on this and I can drag that to any new date as required. So again, one of the new features of SharePoint that is very, very handy. So probably the other thing I would suggest is that what is not enabled by default is analysis processing. So to enable usage analysis processing, what you need to do is go into central administration, go into operations and then select usage analysis processing from under logging and reporting. Now basically what this does, as you can see, it's not enabled. What it will do is we'll create logging files in that directory, again on the C drive. And again, you can nominate when this analysis processing happens. So it happens between 1 a.m. So if I go OK here, what will happen now is, is within the next 24 hours, obviously, that usage processing will take place 
And then what I can look at is under Site Actions, I'll find that Site Settings, I'll find an option here called Site Usage Report. So what this will give me is when the usage reporting has run for the day, it will give me a list of performance and hits and page popularity for my site. Now admittedly it's not particularly involved or particularly deep at this point. Uh, the expectation is, is the next version of SharePoint, SharePoint 2.10, which is due out in beta in October and due for release probably in the new year, will be much more involved in the usage that it allows. But I would recommend that it is something that is worth enabling by default because it gives you a much better impression and idea of exactly how your SharePoint site is being used. So the two, again, the items that I would recommend you look at uh, doing as a minimum to any SharePoint installation on SBS 2008 is firstly the knowledge base, which you can select via site settings and create. The second thing I would recommend is that you make sure the dates and the regional settings are correct and again they can be found under site settings. And the third thing I'd recommend is obviously that you enable usage processing, usage analysis processing which is located firstly under the operations tab in central administration and then is accessed via the site settings option menu up the top here. So again, this is uh, basically something, uh, unfortunately I think that SharePoint on SBS 2008 is a little bland, it needs a little bit of work and that's why it is worthwhile spending the time to improve the uh, knowledge that you have on the system so that you can give your customers and yourself if you use SharePoint a much better look and feel and make it a much more useful tool. The reality is, is that SharePoint is simply a tool. It's much like Excel and Word, which when you open those, ends up being blank um, and you need to put all the intelligence into that. SharePoint's very much the same. It's very much a tool that requires some work to get the most out of. It simply will, it's not an application that you can expect to use um, and will do everything you want. It needs to be customised. So, Let's turn to our PowerPoint. Okay, so we're drawing to the end of the presentation here, only half an hour today, but I just need to uh, obviously pay the bills. So what I will uh, let you know is that I de have developed a SharePoint operations guide which gives you information on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint. For more information about this uh, guide, have a look at the website www.wssops.com. So I'd firstly like to thank you for taking the time out to have a look at this webinar. I appreciate that if you have any feedback or you want some more information about what I presented here or SharePoint in general, please send me an email. My email address is director at ciaops.com. And if you want to keep up with what is happening in these presentations, um, you can subscribe to my blog, which is supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. The idea is that going forward uh, from probably November, I'll be running a regular SharePoint webinar for both uh, free offerings as well as a paid offering and hopefully that will allow people to pick up the information that they require about SharePoint. So what I would ask for the very last thing before everybody heads off, if you maybe can just uh, answer a poll for me, can you just fill that in and just let me know what your knowledge of SharePoint on SPS 2008 is generally. Uh, this will help me obviously aim the free webinars towards those and giving people more information. But as always, please feel free to send me any 
information or suggestions, I look forward to... Uh,